If you're looking for a deal on smartwatches or wireless headphones, look no further than the description box. Go down there, click the link. I got you. What's good? What is up? It's your brother Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, family. Before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. All right, so Toylin Kelly, fiance of Marion Shug Knight, has been sentenced today to three years in jail after it was ruled that she violated her probation. This is according to the LA Times. Now, Kelly went against the terms of her probation when she indirectly communicated with the incarcerated Knight as he awaits trial for murder using a private investigator. LA County Superior Court Judge Douglas Sortino also ruled that Kelly had helped to organize interviews with BET for Knight as a part of a documentary on death row records. Now, Shook Knight is barred from having any phone contact with anyone but his attorneys as per a court order placed in 2016. Text messages shown in the court showed that Kelly had placed money in other inmates' accounts, which prosecutors argue was payments to use their phone privileges for the interviews. A testimony by Sergeant Richard Biddle of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department claimed that Knight had spoken to two journalists through the phone codes of other inmates. Now, Kelly was given five years probation when she was accused of selling surveillance footage connected to Knight's trial to TMZ. The video, which a judge had ruled could not be shared with the media, was reportedly sold for $55,000. Kelly pleaded no contest as conspiracy to violate a court order. She was ordered to pay back the 55 grand in a full, complete 100 hours of community service on top of following the conditions of her probation. Now, Kelly unfortunately reportedly asked the judge to consider her eight year old son, who was without parents of both her and Shook Knight, were to be incarcerated. Knight has been in jail since January 2016. He was arrested after driving his car into a man, one of whom was killed following argument on the set of a film straight out of Compton. Knight has argued that he was acting in self-defense. This is terrible news, sad news coming out today, coming out about Shook Knight and his girlfriend. Now, obviously, Shook Knight has been a monster for years. I'm not barring anything that he's ever done, but it seems to me, it appears to me recently, the last couple of years, that there's something or someone out here trying to destroy this man at all costs. Someone out there wants Shook Knight gone. Now, many people will argue in the comment section right now, I'm sure, it's self-inflicted. He's done this to himself years and years of being a monster, years and years of doing dirt to so many people. This is nothing more than karma coming back to him. And if he did hit somebody, which caused somebody to die, then yeah, he's exactly where he needs to be. That being said, you have a woman out here who's involved with him, who has a child with him, who has no idea what's about to go on for her future or her child's future, who's out here trying to make money, barring, yeah, okay, she sold some footage to TMZ for 55 grand. She's ordered to pay that back, so she got nothing from that. She got phone interviews that are done all the time. You see ABC, CBS, you see all these other major news channels sneaking into jail doing interviews, yada, yada. But she tries to do it, and now she's sitting somewhere where she's about to serve three years behind bars for really no fucking reason. She didn't do anything crazy. She didn't hurt anybody. She didn't tear anybody apart. She was trying to sell information, not even to go against anybody's case or tear anybody apart just for a documentary to be done. I just think personally this is just a little out of hand for this woman to have to do three years in jail for just giving out information. In my opinion, y'all have a right to argue it. Leave a comment in the comment section right now. Let me know what y'all think of this young woman being sentenced three years in jail for violating probation. Very sad situation. Also, while I down there, you see links in the description box to our Twitter homepage and our brand new website, hiphopun.com, sponsored by Hip Hop News and Center's own. Oh, gosh, shout out to that brother. We dropping information about daily over there. Make sure you go check that out. Always trying to keep it raw, real, uncut for y'all. Until next time, until next story, this is Viral Hip Hop News, and we are out of here. Peace. Fuck y'all,